How do you know if you're in love or if it's just hormonal? Well, there's a study done by Helen Fisher at Rutgers University, and she says there's three stages of love. The first is lust, the second is attraction, and the third is attachment. And each of those stages has different hormones attached to them. So in lust, we have a lot of testosterone and estrogen. And we think of the Hollywood model of relationship where we become attracted to somebody and it's love at first sight and it's so amazing and it's so great. And the sex is hot and great until it's not. Until we start moving into the second phase and those hormones go away. So in the second phase, we have attraction. And in the attraction phase, we have dopamine, which is our feel-good hormones, the norepinephrine, and the serotonin running. And so now this brings us into that excitement, hopeful stage. We start thinking about them. We can't think about anything else. But it's about them, not the physical attraction. Our dopamine's activating our reward centers. And then... We start moving into our attachment stage. And this is our long-term relationship phase, per se. This is where the oxytocin and the vasopressin is released. And this is where people start losing interest in their relationships if they were connected due to reward rather than deeper traits of their mate. In other words, if they were physically attracted or if they were attracted by the reward center of dopamine, suddenly the relationship seems boring. They're not really sure why they're there. And they wonder, hmm, is this the right relationship for me? I can help you with that. Details are in the bio.